How long we going to wait for the truth? The truth is here. The truth can walk right past you with a red hat on. And you wouldn't see it because you are blind. Now, the Islamic scholars have failed us. We put all our hopes in these people that have taught us to stay away from the Bible. And look what happened. Over 30,000 Palestinians dead from ignoring the Bible. And that's all it took. It took for us to turn our back on the ones who fed us. We've been biting the hand that have fed us in Islam. And you know that's a big no-no. You cannot exalt yourself against the root. Now, according to the scripture, God will save the tents of Judah first so that the inhabitants of Israel and everyone else won't be able to magnify themselves against Judah. Now, the Gentiles have been like some wild branches grafted into this tree. Now, you are not going to be able to magnify yourself against the root. The root is Israel all day, every day. And God made promises to the nation of Israel. He has to keep specifically David. God promised David that he would raise up a king from his seed. And he is not breaking that promise. Now let's get this in 2 Samuel 22 and 51. He is the tower of salvation for his king. And showeth mercy to his anointed unto David and to his seed forevermore. Now let's get another one. Let's get 1 Kings 11 and 39. And I will, for this, afflict the seed of David, but not forever. God promised to never leave David, okay? He punished David. He punished his children, but he is not going to forsake David. God made a promise to David that from his loins there will come a king, and this man's kingdom will have no end. Now, it wasn't the first Solomon. If it was the first Solomon, we wouldn't even be in this predicament we in right now. He was speaking of the last Solomon. He was speaking of al Mahdi. Now, some people pronounce it al Madeu, um, the way, you know, the prophet, peace be upon him, pronounced it, giving it the thumb up. And some people pronounce it Mahdi. But y'all all know who I'm talking about. We're talking about this man who has been charged to clean up the earth. And this is not Jesus. Let's deal with the Christians right now because Christians slap Jesus, peace be upon him, on everything. <laughs> Even Jesus had to talk about John the Baptist being so great in the Gospels just so you can keep your eyes off of him and they still just idolize this man. Now, the prophet Isa didn't change the entire world. No, he didn't. In his day, lawlessness was still prevalent. This is the reason why the Romans were in power. So you got to just let those lies die. And right here, we kill lies with the truth. Because this whole time, lies have been the murderers of the truth. But in this day, the truth is going to be the murderer of the lie. Can somebody say amen or amen? Or say, oh my, or Amen. oh me, because I'm in the booth today with the truth. But no, he didn't get rid of oppression, okay? That's my brother. The prophet Isa is my brother. Now, I don't like to go through all the prophet's junk mail, but all the prophets have some folder that's entitled junk mail, because even in the Quran, the prophet Isa was charged by God to go and clean up this house. He has to clean up this house, according to the Hadith. He will return, and he will destroy the cross, and he will destroy all of the pigs, and he will get rid of the jizzy attacks. He has some work to do. Just like Joshua, God told Joshua, why are you crying to me? Get up off your face. What you crying for? There is sin in your camp. And all because of the lies in Christianity, Jesus had to kiss death. Just so that I could be the last Don. The prophet Isa, I love him so much. This man is going to kiss death 
just so that I could be the last Don. Now, the prophet Isa can't be the ruler. Why? He has to die. According to the Quran, the prophet Isa will be put to death. So he cannot be the seed of David that's going to rule forever. Now, Master P told y'all something that y'all slept on. He has an album entitled The Last Don. He literally says that Pac and Biggie took the kiss of death so he could be the last Don. And the prophet Isa, for me, he took the kiss of death so that I could be the last Don. That's my brother. And this is the truth. Christians have no idea who is Al Maddie. Israelite camp leaders have no idea who is this man. When this man is the prophet like Moses, the prophet Isa was not the prophet like Moses. The prophet Isa was not the prophet like Moses. Let that sink in. I'm going to say it again. The prophet Isa was nothing like Moses. Moses. According to you Christians, he died. He was put to death. He was murdered. Moses was not murdered. Moses had wives. According to the Torah, he had at least two, depending on how you interpret it. Either way it go, he had babies. The prophet Isa had none of the above. The prophet Isa was not like Moses. The prophet that would be like Moses was not even the prophet Mohammed. It wasn't. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he revealed to me that I was the Mahdi, he had to straighten out my doctrine. Because I taught that and I stand on that. He didn't tell me that the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was the Deuteronomy 18, 18 prophet. He told me I was. He told me El Mahdi was. Why? Because he is of Israel. The prophet Muhammad was of Ishmael. And the promise was in Isaac, not in Ishmael. Right now, we are in the process of casting out the bondmaid. Right now, we're getting rid of all of that lie that's going on right now in the nation of Islam. You know why? Because a bastard is dwelling in Ashdod. Now, in Ashdod, if you pay attention to the letters, you can spell why I shot do. In other words, we got to get rid of the bastard. That's trying its best to keep something that does not belong to them. This religion we call Islam does not belong to the Arabs. It belongs to the root. It belongs to David. This was our religion. This was the religion of our ancestors. This was the religion of the prophet Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Ishmael. They were Muslim. And the prophet Muhammad was a servant. He picked out a bride for Isaac, metaphorically, the prophet Isa. And now that church is in my hands and is under my leadership. And I am the ruler of the Arabs. Now I know you won't hear me, okay? But just as I am powerful in speech, you're going to see that I'm powerful indeed. When the time comes for Allah to raise me up and to gather all the tribes of the lost tribes of Israel and to be a messenger to the Gentiles. My day is coming soon because he's giving me the truth. So we establish the fact that the Arabs are trying to keep something that does not belong to them. The Arabs have been ignoring the Bible. The Bible is first place. The Bible gave you the prophecies of the Quran. The Bible gave you the prophecies, the so-called prophecies of Islam. So how are you going to turn your back on the Bible? This is the reason why Bilal, he woke you up. He started off the Adan. And what happened? Y'all tried your best to keep that baton and not pass it back to Bilal. Now the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He told you that al Mahdi is coming and when he comes, he is the ruler. He understood the concept of being a servant. He knew that he was not the rightful heir. And the real truth of the matter is, he is the real Muhammad. The real Muhammad is black. He's black, baby. Okay? The prophet Muhammad was using that mantle. And what can you spell in mantle? Lamonti. I'm here. I have the knowledge that your pastors don't have. I have the knowledge that your imams, your mamas, don't have. Because Allah has enlightened me. He let me know 
that the prophet Isa had to take the kiss of death for me to be the last Don. I am the last Don. I'm going to raise up the tribes of Israel and I'm going to be a light to the Gentiles and I'm going to bring all the nations in judgment. Edom has a judgment coming. Ammon has a judgment coming. The Arabians have a judgment coming. All the nations are going into a severe judgment and Allah has put al Mahdi in charge of this last and final judgment. Okay, you got to read your Bible. You got to believe it too. Deuteronomy 18, 18 tells you that there's a prophet coming from the bloodline of Israel that is going to hold everybody responsible. And whoever does not listen to this man right here, this man is going to put you to death. And we're going to make some examples. We're going to make some examples, okay? Allah is going to lead me into this crusade, and I'm going to walk right with him. Because with God, I don't need no nines. I don't need no guys. He's going to ride. I got God on my chest. I don't need no vest. I'm ready for war. I'm suited up and properly dressed. Now, I was singing that way back in 2004 when Allah was giving me the songs. The prophet Muhammad was told he's not a poet. He was told he's not a father. He was told that he is not a supervisor. All these things the Maddy is. He is the Daddy Mac. He is the Big Mac when you go into McDonald's. And this right here, this kingdom, belongs to the seed of David. And the house of David is home of the real Maddy. I know it makes you mad. I know it makes you mad that I've hung out in the sun way too long. I know it makes you mad that in Song of Solomon chapter 1, it tells you who is the ruler of the Arabs. And the problem with these Muslims, my brothers, they do not understand types and shadows. They don't understand metaphors. The prophet Muhammad was telling you that he will be of my family because I am Muhammad. I am Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad is our name. We lent that to the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. And he returned it back to the rightful heir. So we have a lot of scriptures I still want to get past. I want to go to Acts 13 and 21. And afterward, they desired a king. And God gave unto them Saul, the son of Sis, or Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of 40 years, Saul is the founder of the Christian church, period. Right now, we are under Saul. Saul's church is the most powerful church right now on planet Earth. But what's happening? Islam is creeping up. And Islam is second in place. And Islam is the fastest growing. Despite all the hypocrisies, we are still second place. And what's going to happen is we finna going to take the steal. So let's go to verse 22. And when he had removed him, because the Christian church is about to be removed, all of the pastors, all of the pillars, we're going to knock them over like Samson, okay? We're going to push them to the left, and we're going to push them to the right, and we're going to kill more Philistines in our death than in our life. After he removed Saul, he raised up them, David, to be their king. This is talking about Maddie. This is talking about Daddy Mac. This is talking about Big Daddy right here to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse. And that's going into Jesus. Why? Because the Maddie will meet Christ. He's going to meet Christ. A man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Now, out of all the prophets who fulfill all of God's will, it wasn't Jesus. It wasn't Abraham. It wasn't Moses. It wasn't the prophet Muhammad. You know who's going to fulfill everything God wants to be done? al -Mahdi. This man is going to fill the earth with righteousness, just like it's filled with wickedness. Who's done that? Nobody's done that, but watch. The truth is right before your eyes, and I tell you right now today, Allah is going to use me, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to clean up this earth. I've been singing about it and singing about it, and pretty soon it's going to spill over and be fulfilled prophecy. Now, let's deal with some more promises to the nation of Israel, a raps. How the hell an Arabian is going to raise up the tribes of Israel. That don't make no sense. This man has to be of the seed of David. And so Moses was black. Okay, the prophet Muhammad prepared you. 
He told you in the hey deeps. Moses was black. You should have had respect for black people then. He told you the prophet Esau was black in your Hades. You should have had respect for black people then. What you thought that the last Don was going to be an Arabian? No. The last Don is a black man. The last Don is the cream of the crop. And he is on top. It is the black man. God is going to the root of the tree to make a magic. He's not going to the branches. The Gentiles are the branches. They've been grafted in and they are unthankful. And Allah has been witness against them. And he sent Wu-Tang. Metaphorically, he sent a swarm of killer bees. And right now, your people is suffering the judgment of an almighty God. Because you turned your back on the Bible. You turned your back on Bilal. The man that woke you up. And the judgment is coming for you. Okay, we coming. We coming, we coming, we coming, we coming. Now, you know for a fact, my message, if you look at my videos, wasn't like this. That's because Allah woke me up and told me who I am. Okay, I am the son that was born out of due time. Ready for this last day crusade. Paul wanted to be me. Paul wanted to be the man. He wanted to be the father. But what did he get? He got a prison with his name on it. And all you Christians are on your way. The problem with y'all is y'all don't understand that prophets get on everybody. Prophets get on nations, okay? I'm not up Arab's ass. No, I'm not. I'm doing what thus saith the Lord. I'm being like his Jeremiah. I'm plucking up and I'm pulling up and I'm planting. I'm tearing down and I'm building. I'm doing all the above and Arabs are getting it right now. Allah's hand is heavy upon you because you're trying your best to keep something that doesn't belong to you. Now, I encourage you to repent. I encourage you to receive your Maddie. Okay, the stone that the builders rejected right now, all of this enlightenment has come out and ain't nobody even stepped forth. Ain't nobody even stepped forth yet. All this light has been shed and still has nobody stepped up to the plate. Yet they claim to love Muhammad. Okay, they are the hypocrites. They are the hypocrites. You don't love Muhammad. Okay, no, you don't. Because if you love Muhammad, you would love me. Okay, we let Muhammad use our name to save you, and little are you thank, 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 thank. Then we have Samuel, 2 Samuel 7 and 13. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. And if he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him. As I took it from Saul. Okay. The Christians are done. Whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. So here we have God you call him almighty, okay? I call him Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows his name. He knows his name. He just told you that he's going to establish the seed of David as king forever. So that's telling you, your al Mahdi cannot be Arabian. He's black. Go to Song of Solomon, chapter 1. I am black but comely. Oh, you daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon, look not upon me because I'm black, because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children, you Arabians, were mad at me because God made me the keeper of the vineyard. God rose up someone better than you, okay? Now, I'm not exalting myself. That's what the scriptures say. He told Saul, I rose up someone better than you who's going to fulfill all my will. We're going to put the whole earth under Islam. So share this truth, TikTok, via Facebook, via YouTube, however you share it on your social platform. Let's get this truth out. Let's see what these scholars have to say. I'm ready for them. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth. True, 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 true.